about it being. Pleased to bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Danielle Bellini, with the report from the sidelines. Thanks, guys. Super Bowl 50 is a very special milestone for the NFL. Super Bowl I was played back in 1967 at the L.A. Coliseum. As you recall, the Green Bay Packers beat the Kansas City Chiefs on that day. But I'm sure neither of those teams could have imagined the Super Bowl growing to be as big as it is today, guys. That being said, we've got two teams out here who desperately want to make history by winning the Super Bowl tonight to ensure they're the ones that are remembered and that everyone is talking about 50 years from now. Back to you guys. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. And Steven Hauschka looks set now to kick it away. The Super Bowl officially underway, and we're going to have a new champion tonight. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Coming onto the field at quarterback, the man who took over the position for Brett Favre and has created his own legacy in Green Bay, quarterback Aaron Rodgers. A solo back set. Looking across the middle. Intercepted. They bring him to the turf. He came into the league with the Minnesota Vikings. Quarterback Tavares Jackson.
What a nice spot to begin this drive. Jackson's lined up. Two tight end set. Lynch has got it on the handoff. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. We'll be keeping an eye on Jimmy Graham, Phil. A lot of people surprised to see the Saints trade him to Seattle in the offseason. Graham's all about the money. I mean, I know the New Orleans Saints, they knew he was a great player, but it's about money and saving cap space down there in New Orleans. And Seattle was all too happy to get him on their side. Tavares Jackson under center. The Seahawks from the 32. Throws the pass. Jimmy Graham has the catch. Clinton Dix in on the tackle. There is nothing like having a great tight end in your offense now. There's so many things you can do with them. Remember, they're in the middle of the field. They can go down the middle. They can go outside. They can go short. They can go across. They can go out. Tough to cover the tight ends in this league now. How you perform inside the red zone is often the difference in a game, and we'll get an early taste of that. No doubt about it, Jim. you got to be creative when you get in the red zone. We'll see what the offense calls. Sam Shields is one of the classic shutdown corners in this league. One of the good stories in the NFL, the fact that he was not drafted. And how about the Green Bay Packers? When you can get a corner who's not even drafted to turn into one of the best in the league, man, Ed, you're smart, you're fortunate, and lucky. Boyd's in on the tackle. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. So first and goal to go. The Seahawks with another run. Oh, my gosh, it is the worst thing you can do on the offensive side. This drives coaches crazy. When you get down near the goal line, you run the football, and you lose yards. That's just not being tough enough. Loss of three on the play. That defensive front looks impenetrable here on the goal line. Touchdown number one at the Super Bowl. Super Bowl is like no other game out there. It's so big. The tension is so much more than the other playoff games. And when you score first, that is a big, big deal. More than anything, it's a great relief to get that out of the way. The Packers are back deep, ready to return. Hyde's going to test the coverage this time. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. center. Nelson's got it on a pass that had some heat. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Bill? 
Oh, man, and quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. Rodgers got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Avril's all over that offense and brings him down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense at time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. A solo back set. The give. Avril's able to read that play and make the hit. The Seahawks guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it, and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. The Seahawks' defense now is going to go nickel. Got drilled as he throws it. They've come out of the blocks fairly sluggishly. And this defense has taken full advantage, Phil. Yeah, the offense having a tough time. They did not have a good series that time. And the defense, you're right, took advantage of a sluggish offense and got off the field. Tim Maste now called on the punt. Packers get to it first and will down the punt. The Seahawks are looking to build on a touchdown drive the last time they had it as they retake the field with their offense. They had tremendous rhythm, Jim, on the offensive side. In other words, the defense is guessing pass, they ran the football. They're guessing run, and the offense threw it. That's what you want to do. Keep them thinking on the defensive side, but they think they're slower, and you can take advantage of that. pick there's a difference when you play zone you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football when you're playing man-to-man -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes you try to shadow him look for the football and try to make a play second down after the incompletion reception today. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. is it, what's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. The Super Bowl. It's as big as it gets. And just the fan side of you, Phil, what sticks out in your memory bank? Well, I think the game, one of my favorite games of all time, Jim, when you talk about the Super Bowls, the Steelers, the Dallas Cowboys, I love them both. Roger Stahlback, Terry Bradshaw, and I remember the Jackie Smith.